In this video, we are going to be finding the area of basic shapes, such as square, rectangle, triangle, parallelogram, trapezoid, and circle. So first we have a square. Square has all sides that are equal, which is why I only labeled one side. So I labeled it five centimeters, which means that all sides would be five centimeters. The area of a square is equal to S squared. S stands for the length of one side. Substitute into the formula, area equals five squared, which is equal to 25 centimeters squared. All of our units on area are going to be squared units. Next, I have a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. Here, I'm going to say that my length is seven centimeters and my width is six centimeters, but it honestly doesn't matter which one you say is the length or the width. So substituting into my formula, area is equal to seven times six, which is equal to 42 centimeters squared. Once again, you have to have squared units. Next, I have a triangle. The area of a triangle is equal to one half base times height. I have the base labeled here, which is eight centimeters. The height is going to be my dashed line, which is going to be seven centimeters. Substituting my formula, area is equal to one half times eight times seven, which is going to equal 28 centimeters squared. Next, I have a parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram is equal to base times height. I have the base labeled here, which is nine centimeters. The dashed line is going to be the height, which is 11 centimeters. And all you do is substitute into the formula 9 times 11, which will equal 99 centimeters squared. Next, I have a trapezoid, which is equal to 1 half times the height times the quantity of the sum of the bases, B1 plus B2. It doesn't matter which one you say is B1 or B2 just as long as you know which one's which. The height of this trapezoid is going to be five inches and I'm saying my base one is going to be 12 and my base two is going to be eight. So substituting everything into the formula, the area is going to equal one half times five times the quantity 12 plus eight. So order of operations, I do 12 plus eight first which is equal to 20, then I'm going to times that by 5, which is 100, and divide by 2, you get 50 inches squared. Last, I have a circle. A circle, the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. r stands for the radius. The radius is from the center of the circle. And so this circle is going to have a radius of 10 inches. Substituting to my formula, the area is equal to pi 10 squared which equals 314.159 inches squared if I round to the thousandths place. On all of these areas, you should know these basic formulas. So if you do not have them memorized, I suggest that you start memorizing all of these basic formulas because geometry throughout the year is going to be a lot easier if you have these memorized. The end.